Hello, welcome to Volunteer Disc Golf. I'm Darrell Luna, PDGA number 195440, and this is my summer 2022 in the bag. Go ahead and get started with my putting putters. I'm putting with MVP Nomads. I just recently switched to these. Just like the good clean release I'm getting from them, and um, they just feel good in my hands. So I've uh, really been enjoying these so far. Next, we'll look at my throwing putters and approach discs. So my main putter off the tee is going to be the 2021 Tour Series Luna. Uh, just a great disc. It will ride a little bit to the right for me, but it will finish by popping on a little hyzers. So nice, floaty, dependable uh, putter that's going to get me a lot of distance and I can get a lot of control of. Next uh, are my judges. I have an old beaten prime judge that is just my baby. I love that I, I have to put on so much out of it's almost like straight up and down and flip up and ride. Uh, if I put it on a little bit of highs and flip up and go to the left, which is important to me because I don't have a forehand. So I really enjoy this one, especially for the woods or shots I need to go short and to the right. And this judge is a compliment to both of these because it will hold the line more straight. This is a premium plastic judge. And unlike my Luna, which wants to sort of drift to the right, this one sort of wants to just go straight for most of the flight and then finish at the end. So really enjoy this judge. Next, I have a new disc in the bag. My son Braden uh, dyed this for me. It looks really sick, so I enjoy bagging it, but I haven't got to really throw it that much yet, and that is the bird. So basically, the hype over the bird's been so much that I had to pick it up, but I haven't got to throw it much yet. So looking forward to throwing this in the future. And then, um, a disc that I've had for a while, but really just recently started throwing a bunch is the uh, Axiom Envy. And really enjoying this, uh, just uh, doesn't have the stability of my zone, um, but it does have stability where I can get some finish at the end if I need to, and it's really torque resistant. So enjoying throwing this Envy lately, especially on uh, tight wooded shots. And then the zone. This is a disc that I throw all the time for approaches it's very very puddle top this is the uh, uh crystal flex get freaky edition way more stable than others that i have in the same plastic it's the most stable zone that i own it's more stable than any of my uh similar disc and i guess this is the puddle top that it thinks it's a driver and wants to get a lot of ground play so i always play for that but i, I use this if i'm trying to throw something in throw a hyzer shot approach shot love the zone As far as my mid-ranges go, uh, my most understable is this MVP Uplink. Once again, my son Brayden died for me. looks super sick. Loving this disc. If I throw this thing flat, it wants to go to the right. If I throw this thing on a big turnover, it just wants to hold it without burning. Uh, so I love this disc. Really been enjoying it. The last few weeks getting a lot more uh, play in my rounds, this, this Uplink. So great disc. Uh, just, just really enjoying throwing this. Next are, is my Buzz. This is an ESP Buzz that I've had in here forever. This is one of my oldest discs in my bag. It will uh, pop up on hyzer and ride straight, maybe even go to the right a little bit. Uh, most times it's gonna finish, but pretty soft and it's more of a forward, uh, forward finish on it. But really great disc, great for big Anheuser shots uh, that I want to pan out. So I uh, love throwing this disc. Then I have um, a couple of a couple of my straight discs. This is a uh, Halloween buzz that uh, is a glow buzz that will just uh, go more straight and then finish at the end than than that previous buzz. Uh, really enjoy throwing this. And then I have a just regular. Uh, moonshine old moonshine run of the truth which is more stable than other ones i've thrown uh, this one wants to fly more like a fairway for me uh, it might ride a little bit to the right for a while but it's always going to come back and get a lot of distance so if i'm wanting more distance uh, with a little bit more uh, lateral movement i'm going to pull out this truth if i want more straight uh, maybe not as much distance i'll pull out just this this uh halloween glow buds then if I'm looking for a uh, mid-range that's really going to get to the 
to the left for me, I'm going to pull out this Axiom Pyrene. This is new to me. I've been struggling to find something in this slot for a while that I've really enjoyed and uh, threw, the, threw a friend's uh, one of these on a round and immediately went home to my local disc golf store high hydrants and bought this one and i love it it is stable wants to stay stable and um throw it on a lot of different lines and it will always uh get back for you so really enjoying the pyro by axiom this then i have one more mid-range this is the justice this is a uh more of a utility uh disc for me throw it into headwinds or if i'm needing a skip shot that uh, i don't think the uh Zone will give me enough skip for, I'm gonna pull out the Justice. So great disc to have in the bag. So, always struggling to find just my straight fairway slot that I enjoy. Uh, I've had different things. I just kicked out a passion, brought back in the Dismania FD. These are the new runs of FD from Dismania. Um, right now, this is what I have in this, but this could change any day. Um, but right now, enjoying throwing the FD enough to have it in the bag. Then I have my T-Bird style disc. I have the um, the Metal Flake um, Explorer from Latitude 64. This is just such a good disc. Uh, when I first got it, very overstable. Still stable, but more of a straight finish now. Uh, really enjoy throwing this. It will, if I put power on it, it'll work towards the right and then come back. Um, but because of that, I like to keep a more stable version. So I have the OG Innova T Birds, Star T Bird. This is brand new. My son Braden just dyed this for me, so I put it in the bag. I uh, was just out throwing it in the field. Enjoy the stability that it's still got with it. So right now I have my more understable, workable one, and then my more overstable one but still very workable uh, t-bird slot so i got the explorer and the t-bird then i have a lucid maverick from dynamic disc that i put on hyzer let it flip up and it will ride to the right this is good for uh if you need it to finish to the right and you don't have that forehand throw in the maverick for those type of shots also can throw it very low power then if i need something that's going to get to the left and stay to the left from dynamic disc i will throw this felon love the felon it's um this is a, a sparkle felon that just really wants to be stable use it on big uh stall hyzers hyzer spikes straight shots uh just a very versatile disc for as overstable as it is but i really enjoy the felon it's a great disc and then uh two of my one of my favorite molds got two of them in the bag the Discraft Undertaker. I have a Z and a Big Z Undertaker. The Big Z lost for a while, finally got back. When it was gone, I put this one in the bag to replace it, but it never had as much stability, did not want to hook up as much as this green one. So I wound up bagging them both. The red Z one is more of my hyzer flip or put on a baby hyzer and let it ride to the right, finish to the right. This one's more of my straight down the gut with power shot. So enjoy the Undertaker, love the Undertaker. It's a great disc. Then a new disc um, that I have been working in my bag, played some tournaments with it and really enjoyed it. Um, this is the Finish Line Era, Drew Gibson's uh, signature disc that he came out with. Really enjoy throwing this. It has some overlap with Undertakers and with Onyxes but it does its own thing. I think it's different enough that it justifies being in the bag. Um, and also my wife just did a sick dye job on it. So it's just cool to have it, look at it, uh, have it used and around. Then I have the oldest disc in my bag as far as ownership. I bought this before I even played disc golf because I thought it looked cool and I saw it at Goodwill. And this is the 2013 European Open PD, uh, Glow PD from Dismania. Really overstable, but very workable. Really enjoy this disc for um, for little skip shots or headwind shots. Don't throw it as much as I used to, and um, really at this point, it's very sentimental to even have it in the bag. But uh, when I do decide to throw it, it always gives me what I'm looking for. So um, could take it out of the bag, may take it out of the bag one day, so I don't lose it. But right now, there's some holes I still throw it on and still enjoy it.
Then my second mold that I love just as much as those Undertakers are the Onyx. I love the Onyx from um, love the Onyx from uh, from Discraft. So I have two ESP Onyxes right here. Uh, this one is the prototype, super overstable. This thing has chunks out of it and everything. It still just wants to always go to the left, always wants to finish. This one, if I throw it hard enough, will just finish straight. Um, I have to power down if I want it to still get some finish. But they're both just great straight discs that I can use for, you know, hyzer shots or straight shots. Could flex them. I don't throw a lot of flex shots, um, but love both of these uh, Onyxes. The uh, first set of edition strivers, these are Wraiths. Uh, the first one is a Halo Wraith, this is new. And the other one is just a Star Wraith that's got a sweet die job for my wife. Um, this this died one will, I have to throw it low power, throw it on a high so it'll flip up, ride out, uh, hopefully come back. Um, this, this Halo one I can hit with a lot of power. And I like it because it flies similar to my Destroyers, but with a slightly smaller rim, so. Really enjoy both of these discs, and they work out well for me, uh, depending on the application I need them for. Then my bomber disc, my workhorse disc, the uh, distance driver that I'm pulling out a lot of times is this Infinite Emperor. I love the Emperor. It's great. It's like a perfectly seasoned destroyer. Uh, just, just a, just a great disc. They'll give me a lot of consistent uh, turn, but then finish. So great disc. Then I just happen to have a nuke in the bag right now. I don't always have a nuke in the bag, but I always love throwing the nuke. Uh, it's one of my early favorite um, distance driver molds. I uh, just put this one in recently because I was using it to fight some winds. But it's just a it's the ESP um, Page Pierce uh, nuke. So not not one of the light light Page Pierce ones. This is a max weight one. And then this could be anything at any time, but right now I happen to have a, a pretty. Um, pretty new uh, Zeus, not not super broken in, but it is broken in enough to where I'll get a lot of carry right now. But uh, I could have a destroyer, uh, an Avery destroyer, or something like that in this uh, slot. But right now I have the Zeus here, so I'll throw this if the wind's picked up a little bit too much, or I don't feel confident throwing the Emperor. And then if I need something that I want to throw a big stall hyzer or want something to go to the left, uh, I love this X2 from Prodigy. It's just a super solid disc that I got in a mystery box forever ago. I bagged it when it was way too much of a meat hook for me. Now it's a very usable disc for me, but still wants to get stable, wants to get to the left. Love this disc. It's just a sick, sick disc and the plastic feels amazing. I've tried to replace it with another backup and it just did not feel as good. And then just a, a really ugly Ricky Destroyer that's going to ruin with the marker and I bought the used bin. But it is just a great um, destroyer with a ton of turn. Flip it up. Um, just really beating in destroyer. So really enjoy throwing this when I get a chance. I'm not going to throw it into a win, but I need a lot of max distance. Don't really have to worry about too much trouble on the right. This is one I'm going to pull out. And then the last two I have here. I have a crank that's just for fun sometimes throwing. This can. This is just sort of a try uh, tryout slot in my bag. I throw the crank sometimes because I enjoy the flight for it, but sometimes I'll just take this out and put something else if I want to just try it out for a round. But right now it has the crank, which is nice, a little less stable than my nukes. Um, so, good disc. And then I have this Thrasher, which is my flippy, uh, my flippy distance driver. Uh, it's not as flippy as some Thrashers. I don't like something so flippy that I'm going to just turn it and burn it. I do that a lot of times with really flippy discs. That's why I stopped bagging to my Hades. But this Thrasher is a Z Thrasher that I can throw if I need to do a standstill shot. If I'm in trouble, it's got me out of trouble in two separate rounds in the same tournament recently. Uh, just can get a lot of distance by just doing a standstill shot. Just maybe put it on a little hyzer, let it pop up. Or if I got uh, some room to work with, I put it on a lot of hyzer and let it pop up. Uh, you know, it'll ride to the right some and then it usually finishes for me. So good disc. Really enjoyed the fact. Birds, I keep an extra scorecard up here. I have markers. I have my minis, an extra mini to, to carry uh, for day two. I have my uh, my towels. I have um, a 
little uh, ground pound knee pad. If I need to uh, go to a knee during a round, I have um, the other thing that's really important is I have uh, dry bags, whale sacks, use those all the time to keep my hands in good shape. And then, um, can't see it because it fell on the ground behind me, but I have an Apex uh, range finder that I love, use all the time in rounds. So those are great. My bag itself is a Prodigy uh, VP1 version three, holds a ton of discs. It's really good about standing up on the course, not necessarily on the table. And then, uh, you know, for when I throw a disc in the water or in a tree, I've got my quick stick to, uh, to get those for me. So thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content. Have a good time.